Guys, what is up? Dave here, coming back to you with a brand new video on the channel. And today's video is, as much as I always say, hey, I don't want to do modding videos anymore. Today's another modding video. Get mad about it. I don't care. Anyway, <laughs> I get messages all the time asking me the question, how do I get started modding a game that's not Unity 3D? What do I do? How do I get into it? What's my, you know, how do I achieve what I want to achieve? And a lot of the times, most games these days, they are made in some sort of way that you need a tool like Ghidra or IDA Pro, and you need to decompile the ARM library files, go through, understand ARM, and modify it that way. I really need to get a face cam. I talk a lot with my hands like I'm Italian, and I'm not. But the best way to go about it is realistically just start messing with stuff. So... In today's video, we're going to take an old game because I've talked about my stance on modding in the past. I don't want to mod games that could basically destroy a community because it's currently up and running. So things that I did during the Racing Rivals days, things that I did during the Nitto 1320 Legends days, things I did during the Combat Arms days. I'm older now. I'm about to be 31. I don't want to do that child stuff anymore. I just want to share the knowledge. And if you make that mistake, maybe you'll learn about it by the time you're 30, like I did. So, we're going to take a very old Android-based drag racing game, a classic on the handheld. Drag Racing 1.1.17. This was the last good version of this game before Creative Mobile took it down from the Play Store, shut down all the multiplayer, and then in a cash grab attempt brought it back about a year and a half ago with five different types of currency in the game it's impossible to build your car to maximum without spending real money on the game and now you cannot be competitive i make it sound like i want to mod the new game maybe anyway today's video is all about how do i mod this old game so the nice thing about drag racing 1.1.17 is the game is very easy to decompile. It's very easy to actually modify this game because most of the stuff is in the Smalley. You just go to Creative Mobile, you go Drag Racing, there's billing, menus, and social. There's a bunch of stuff in here. People have figured out how to do unlimited money and stuff in this game. It's not very hard. Um, I have never looked up a tutorial on creating unlimited money in this game, and I've never really cared to look into it or do it but apparently it's very simple but that's not on the scope of today's video i like doing thing i don't like removing playability from a game if i mod a game i have unlimited currency and all of a sudden you know it's basically just buy 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 and then race or like buy 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 and then i'm all of a sudden incredibly powerful and i beat everything that comes my way that gets boring very quickly with Drag Racing 1.1.17, I had a different goal in mind. Nobody has modded this game to the point that they have added custom cars yet. So you might see this little notepad file over here. And it has all these values in it, starting at different memory addresses with different hex bytes about change stock HP value, change car class, change car class, unknown, weight, weight multiplier, unknown, unknown, ratios or something. There's a whole bunch of stuff in here. And what I've realized is obviously nobody has modded this game to the point that they've added custom cars in a similar way to that that they've done with pixel car drag racing. Also, it would be very easy to make a multiplayer server for this game. I say that when I don't have any... <laughs> While I do have experience doing that, uh, <laughs> it's not much experience. So... What I want to go over is how I figured out what these variables do and what file I decided to modify. So as you can see, there's this cars.bin file. And for the sake of the tutorial, we're going to start with a clean one. Uh, assets. I don't know why I said it that way. We need this one. Yeah, <laughs> I was working on this at 3.05 in the morning. Somebody kill me. Anyway, new folder. Tut. Put this here. I also need an APK. Um, we're going to do this one. Tut. There we go. And what I want to do is drag and drop this into APK Easy Tool. 
So it's actually looking at the correct APK and everything. And then we're gonna do ADB connect. Uh, oh yeah, I'm using Windows subsystem for Android for this. So I need to connect to the ADB, which I just copy this local IP. Heck and paste, damn it. <sighs> you would think I would have already done this, but I wanted to make it part of the tutorial. Anyway, ADB connect 172.21.190.82. Connected. Cool. So now I just want to install, I want to sign this APK so it has the same signature for every single APK. If you guys want a quick tutorial video on how to make a key store file, I can make like a one minute tutorial. It'll be that simple and go from there and you can sign your modded files with the same signature so they can be installed over each other just like they can with an update from the Play Store. But right now we're going to do ADB install. I'm going to sign this APK even though it's a clean APK because I want to show how we're going to figure this out. So we're going to hit enter. It's going to install. As you can see, we have drag racing right here installed. We're going to hit continue. And it's really nice that this is playable on PC. Now, yes, I'm using one that's pre-modded. Shut up. I know what I was talking about. This game's old. It doesn't exist anymore. Shut up. Visually, oh, wow, I got to get rid of the ads. Ugh. This game has so many ads. Hold on a second. I'm going to add away my Android emulator. Give me one second. Perfect. So confirmed, add away does work on Windows subsystem for Android. Cool. So anyway, as you can see, we're going to go to, it does not, this was, it's because the ad was already downloaded. That's the reason it's not working. But anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to use the Mazda RX-8 as our guinea pig for this video. So let me select it, damn it. We're going to buy it. And as we can see, you want to note down all your standard info here. So notepad. And we're going to, let's see. It was 12,000 level one, white, yellow wheels, black wing, 227 BHP power, 2976 pounds, weight, 7323 rear wheel drive, grip. And that's kind of all the info we need at the moment. So what we want to do now is we need to open up this cars.bin file, which is also found in the APK. So we're going to open up this APK, move this over here. We're going to go assets. And as you can see, there's cars and career. In the future, I'll make a video about career, but that's not important at the moment. We want to obviously make this the same name and we're going to go copy paste. I like to always have a backup that's untouched. So. Now with a hex editor, because that's the best way to do this one, simply open this in a hex editor and we're going to want to scroll until we find Mazda RX-8. So as you can see, there's all these files here. There's the Mercedes. RX-8 is the car we started with, so that's the one we want to modify. Now I would search, you know, r.x.8, but when searching that, you'd have to search it in hex form. So whatever the hex lettering for R, X, and 8 is, and then do 0, 0 in between. So it's a pain in the butt. But from experience, I know the RX-8 is really close to the top, so I'm not going to waste my time doing that. But the best way to go about this is just start keeping track. So as you can see, I do have the notepad already started over here for this stuff. But, and this is where multiple monitors really does help, you want to keep track of what you change. Obviously don't change anything to do with the name of it, but you can see, you know, zero, zero, here's E zero. You can always compare it with a different car. So, you know, this one's the, there's the Renault V6 right there, or you can go down and I don't need all that white space there. Or you can go down and you can actually see there's like the Alfa Romeo, it has that same A. You can compare it to a bunch of cars and see if they all have that same A thing there. This one does not. It has an apostrophe, which is 27. 
So up here, let's make it 27. Let's see if that changes it for some reason. So what we want to do is 0x934 is originally E02E. So we want E02E. Simple enough. That's what those bytes are. So what we want to do now is change them to the same as the GTI, which on the GTI is 1027. Change 1027. And we want to see if that makes any difference. If 1027 doesn't make a difference, 1027, simply save it, have your APK open, drag and drop it. Oh, there we go. I was waiting for the pop-up. Resign your APK. Uh, I have the... Yeah, okay. Sign your APK. There we go. And then just simply reinstall it. Since it's signed with the same key store, you can just install it again. Now, we can simply open the game again, and we can see if anything changed with the RX-8 based on changing that byte. Now, this is the very slow way to go about this. Guessing and checking. I don't see anything that... So, what did we learn? We learned that that changed the price of the car. So, we actually want to mark these bytes with like a comment. I do, I used to do a lot of C sharp, so doing slash slash is just a common comment thing for me. Changed base price of car. So what we've learned is we can change whatever that price of the car is. So if we come in here and we just make this FFFF, -F -F -F, save it, we can use that as a many money exploit to get unlimited money. Because we can just sell the car back to the game. We can launch the game, go to our garage, and that car is worth 65535. So it's worth, and it's a level three car suddenly actually. So that changed level and cost because this game was really stupid. I'm gonna be honest with you. The dumbest part about this game is it did level progression based on what the car was worth rather than the amount of power down here. So there is one car in every class that just absolutely dominates. And that does happen in most racing games. That happens in most games actually that there's always gonna be something that's more powerful than everything else. Very difficult to balance everything. There's always gonna be something that is the best for its class. But now we know how to change the money amount. So what happens Let's change that FF and see if that even raises it further. So that would be there. And we save it, drag and drop it in. Basically, you want to go and see how far you can push it. And luckily, signing an APK is super fast. So that's done already. We go back in. And you want to do this basically until the game breaks. And boy, does this game break in spectacular fashion. Look at that. I broke it. It's the only level 11 car. There are no level 11 cars in this game. So we just made effectively a custom level group for this car. And I bet you if I went down to... Let's try it. So this is just for test. Test. So this is 0x... AA2, and we are doing right here. We're going to do these three bytes. We're going to change them all to F. What we do is we put this in here. I don't think you actually have to close it, but we're going to say yes. We're going to sign it. We're going to install it. And I want to see if we just created our own custom levels. For the game. I want to see if the alpha shows up here. It does. So we just effectively made our own custom level group, which tells us already what we can do with this game. But it's a $16 million car. <laughs> so uh, if I sell it, I'll get 12 mil. It won't let me, but that's okay. But we have effectively learned that we can go in and easily sell cars, control B. And I want to put this back to at least close to what it was. Where's the RX-8, RX-8 right here. So already, there we go. I'm just gonna make it 
the same as down there because I think it was. Yeah, it was actually. So save. So we already know that those bytes change something. So I'm going to change it just one character. We're going to do E1 to E. To E just to have a change. And then you do want to save your stuff once in a while. It really does help. But the next thing we want to change is we see this O2 that's just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bytes away from the price of a car. I want to scroll up. We see price of a car for this is right here. So let's see. We're going to go off one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's a zero, one. What does it do down here? So zero, one. We can get rid of this. So it's zero X three D zero two change zero one because we're going to make it match the same as a different car. So we're going to drag and drop it in here. I think you guys get the point by now of this can change a lot of things. And I have actually gone through and I've done a lot. I've figured out pretty much every byte, but I think this would be a fun thing to live stream. I'll be completely honest. Still level one car, something broke for some reason. It still has me stuck in this level 11 section. I bet you it that changed my drive. So that's front wheel drive or rear wheel drive. I bet you zero three is all wheel drive. So I bet you if we go race, Yeah, this is definitely front wheel drive now. And a great thing to do on a game like this is just go in and do something that's very uh, repetitive. Something you can just repeat over and over and over again. Because you'll know what your car is supposed to run, for example, in this racing situation. So we ran a 23.6. If we go in and we change this to, where's that RX-8? We change that 01 to, let's try 03. Ooh. Change that 01 to 03. I bet you that makes it all wheel drive. And what we can do is we can actually note, change drive train. So 01, 02, rear wheel drive. 03. This was front wheel drive. And now we have the. Oops, I didn't save it. Now we know at least what is what, and we can make sure that 03 does it. It might also be 00. It's back to rear wheel drive. So I think it's actually 00 is going to be all wheel drive. Best way to know is to try it. And that's just how it works in the modding world. So we want to go zero, zero. Ooh. Where's my RX-8? I shouldn't have control aid. There it is. So it was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine 3D, there we go, so save. We want to drag and drop the cars.bin in here. We want to sign it. We want to install it. It's so fast compared to doing it over USB or something like that. We want to rate. Oh, well, actually, we can go. How do I go back? There's an ad. Oh, there we go. We made it four wheel drive. I guess that's the same as all wheel drive, maybe, in this game. Let's find out. I bet you it makes me a lot faster. Oh yeah, a lot more grip. Could you imagine an all-wheel drive RX-8? Or even an RX-7, there's actually been a couple of them done. I would love to remake Rob Dom's RX-7, the four-rotor, with the same amount of power in this game and see what it runs. That would be so much fun. It's actually slower because it doesn't have enough power to get off the line with all-wheel drive. So zero zero is four wheel drive. 
I do want to try 0, 3 one more time. 0, 3 just to make sure that doesn't change anything and make sure I didn't mess it up because it happens often. We're going to sign it, install it, and then run the game again. And yes, this is repetitive, but this is the best way to figure out what something does. So this may, it made it rear-wheel drive again. So 03 does not exist, but I'm definitely going to leave it at... Um, I'm definitely going to leave it as all-wheel drive because that's really fun. And then the next set of bytes, I'll do one more set of bytes so we can see what it does. Is this 4605? So 0x940. 4605 change. And again, that's two bytes after drive type. So that's... That's right here. So we're going to change it to 7805. We're going to copy these. And go down here and we're going to control B, control V, and then we're going to save. We're going to drag and drop, save, sign, install launch game. And we're going to see if we see a difference. It looks like that changed weight. Yes, it did. So changes stock weight. So I bet you actually this is going to be fun. 0101. Zero, one, zero, one. This is going to be fun. Let's make the car worth or weigh nothing. And I want to see what happens on an actual phone. Oh, did it install it for me? It might have. Anyway, I'm going to go drag racing. Go garage. My weight is 500 pounds. My RX-8 weighs 500 pounds. This should be interesting. Oh my god, I'm so light. I get through the gears like nothing. Yeah. <laughs> so, all of this data, I'm going to sit and collect all this info. And just try to figure out if it's going to become possible to mod this game. Because I think it would be a lot of fun to have a new game that we can all mod together and actually add custom content to it. We could even create an actual file injector that we figure out these number values. So we know changing this to 0101 made it 500 pounds. So we can figure out what each byte does and actually create a converter to actually auto patch this file. And then the only other thing we have to do is modify the graphics. And the graphics in this game are just this. There's nothing to them. We could convert this entire game to Pixel Car and actually have a working multiplayer that's better than the one that the company gave us. It's not going to be hard to convert this to a different thing. So I already know the X and Y coordinates for where wheels and stuff show up. So I think what we are going to do is in the near future, you will see a custom car in Drag Racing 1.1.17 from me. I'm going to do my best to make a pixel car from pixel car racing work in this game. I hope you guys are excited. This is a fun modding experience because it's not your standard modding, and this is the fun that I've been looking for for a couple years now. I know this video is long. I hope you guys are excited. Let's do it. Honestly, let's do it. If I had a way to actually pay attention to live chat and do this at the same time, I definitely would, but I don't have two monitors set up yet, and you see how much of my screen this takes up. I will have a full write-up of what each byte does for a vehicle, 
eventually on techx.onl and we'll just go from there with it. So I hope you guys are excited. I think this is going to be a fun thing to bring to the drag racing community for video games and maybe we can even get enough people excited for this that we can make a server for it again because the data that this sends back and forth to a server is very basic. The original game actually was connected to a .ru domain, which is a Russian domain because Creative Mobile at the time was still very much in its infancy. I think this game came out during Android 2.3 days. Let's figure out what we can do with it. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.